The baby in the NICU can be an emotional roller coaster for parents. Research being done at the Cleveland Clinic shows a live webcam may allow for remote bonding and ease worry. First News Weekend morning anchor Samantha Bender sat down with a Boardman family who's benefiting from the technology. A NICU stay can range from days to months, making it hard for parents to visit their newborns every day. A Boardman family knows this all too well. Leslie Holmes gave birth to twin girls Mila and Lucia three weeks ago. They're mono mono twins, meaning they share the same placenta, resulting in a high risk pregnancy. Toward the end of her pregnancy, Leslie had to stay at St. E's for five weeks from the time she was 27 weeks until they were born at 32 weeks. The twins have been in the hospital ever since. It's really hard to not have them home with us. We want to be, you know, our family of five units. But thanks to webcams, the homes are never really that far away from the girls. Since 2019, Akron Children's has had webcams in every intensive care unit, allowing families a private view of their babies 24 hours a day. And it's super simple. All you need is the help of your handy dandy cell phone or computer, and you can check in on your baby and see how they're doing live at any time from anywhere. These webcams have been invaluable to us. Even when I wake up up to pump in the middle of the night I, at 3 a.m. I can, you know, look at them, see what they're doing at 3 a.m. just like I would if I was at home. Dr. Buland with Akron Children's Neonatology says the cameras have really strengthened the hospital's bond with its patients because families can watch and see the care their babies are getting. We have some families that have transportation issues. If they have the ability to look at the camera, they can see their baby, know their baby's safe, and feel that a part of their baby's care, even if they can't be here. Research done at Cleveland Clinic Children's shows having that virtual connection to their baby helped parents, especially those experiencing stress. In Boardman, Samantha Bender, WKBN 27 First News.